Hi, and welcome back to Like to Style Tutorials. Step 1. Start with number 3 guard at the sides and back. Start from the side on a temple area, about 2 inches above the top of the ear. Going up and fading out. Don't go too high. Leave room for blending. Work your way up to the occipital bone, or the line where the head begins to curve. Keep the consistent technique all the way around the head. Always go against the natural direction of the hair growth, as this will produce a nice, clean, precise cut. Don't forget to keep the hair dry, as wet hair is nearly impossible to cut properly with clippers. When you reach the other side of the head, remember to keep the same height, about two inches above the top of the ear. Step two, change your guard to the number two. To get a smooth fade, you will switch to the shorter guards as you move down. Step 3. Same again, working lower than previously, blending with the number 1 clipper attachment, slowly going up and fading out, creating gradual haircut. Step four, same again, working lower than previously. Now, you will need to switch your clippers into 0.5 blade. Pull the handle down to adjust the clippers. To cut behind the ears, pull the top of the ear down. You may have to cut at an angle to get the hair behind the ear. Repeat the same shaving technique as before, starting at the bottom and moving up. Keep your hand into fading out motion and work carefully as your clippers have no guard protection. Step 5. Adjust the clipper into the closed position as you will fade with the number 0 at the very bottom line. The hair should gradually get shorter as it gets closer to the base of the skull. Step 6. Blend the top into the sides. There are different ways to do this, but today I will show you the clipper over comb technique. Start with your comb slightly below the blend line, pointing the comb directly upwards. The hair protruding from the comb will act as a guide for the desired length. Comb upwards till the shorter clipped hair disappears behind the comb. Then tilt the comb away from the head. Hold your comb still and cut the excess longer hair. Step 7. 
cut the top section. I'm going to use scissors for the top section, so make sure to wet the hair as that will make it much easier to cut. First, you need to cut a guideline. It's an imaginary line from the forehead to the crown, the center of the head. The length you create here will determine the way you approach the rest of the haircut. Cut the hair to the length you want between your index and middle fingers, following the natural head shape and moving towards crown area, leaving the hair a little bit longer around the crown. Your guideline is now done. From now on, cut in sections next to the guideline, to the one side of the head. When starting a new section, always take a little bit of hair from the previously cut section, as you can see here. This is how you will know the length to cut into the new section. Move to the other side of the head and repeat the same technique, cutting section by section. Make sure to keep the hair wet when using scissors as it will make more easier to cut. Step 8. Trim the bangs. Combing the hair forward, use the point cutting technique in order to get nicely textured bangs, positioning the scissors sideways to achieve the proper angled cuts. But remember, wet hair shortens as it dries, so be careful not to cut too much. Step 9. Styling and finishing. Firstly, be sure to comb out all loose hair and trimmings. Dry the hair thoroughly with a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, use a towel. Finish the look by using your preferred hair styling product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haircut tutorial and maybe learned something new. Make sure to leave any questions in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe and click the notifications bell to be notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more tutorials.